Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a grocery haul for our family of four. I've just filmed um, a little bit here of the bags that I've got here on the floor, but the rest are in the freezer and um, lots of milk has gone into the fridge as well. But I'm going to get into unpacking this in a minute, but I'll give you the total of the shop at the end. But I just feel like, um, you know, the budget just gets thrown out the window most weeks. And we, I did talk about last week how we are trying to... Um, you know, think about our budget because it's definitely we need to spend more than what we were, which was about 220. So now we're looking at around about 250 to 260 dollars a week, and then we'll see how we go with that. So we've got holidays coming up within the next week, and they had a lot of specials at Woolworths this week with like junk food and snacks and things like that. So I thought I'd take advantage of it and put a lot of it away this week for the holidays. So this is why it looks like I've got all these sugary treats and um, chips and things like that. So I'll start here with the bread. So I ordered um, uh, four loaves of bread. Oh, I did order three loaves of bread, sorry. I just got the Abbott's Bakery light rye because the rye bread I got last time, which I really do like, they didn't have it in stock. So I just ordered one loaf, but I ordered the one that was 700 grams and they didn't have it in stock. So they had to give me two of the Abbott's breads, which I'm not, I'm not complaining about because they're like $4.90 a loaf. And I also just got some of the home brand like bread, but they didn't have that in stock. So they've just given me the um, sun blessed one and which is just the white sandwich bread for the kids lunches the chips were on special the thins this week they were a saving of a dollar 90 a packet so they were two dollars 80 so i just bought three packets because lately the chips are, they're just so expensive but this is not too bad so i just got cheese and onion chicken and plain i also got some classic pretzels these are around two dollars 15 a packet and they're really nice pretzels and um, we have tried them a few times so i just got them as something you know just as a nice plain treat for the kids for either their lunchbox or for the holidays. Now I did buy some tiny teddies. I don't often buy these, but we haven't had them in such a long time. So I just got the mixed box here and that's always the same price. It's always around $5.50. I got some Arnott's biscuits. Now these were a saving of like, let me have a look, a saving of $2.25. So they're usually $4.50 a packet. I could not believe this. They were $2.25 a packet, but usually $4.50 a packet, which I would probably never purchase for that price. So I just got the mint slice and the gaiety biscuits um, and I will be putting a packet away because I know probably a packet will end up going over the weekend and during the school week. I got some wagon wheels. I don't think they were on special. They were like a little bit over $3 this week. I got my oldest boy some up and goes. My youngest boy has some occasionally, but not for school. So I just got, um, I did order the six pack, but they didn't have it in in. Um, stock so they just gave me two separate ones which were the same price anyway but they're just really a, a, a filler for my oldest boy if he's doing sport and things I got some of these thick shake bars um, now these were on special for two dollars fifty so I got them and I'm putting them away as well and the Cadbury's chocolate now this was on special this week so it was half price it's two dollars seventy five a block this week so i got peppermint caramello and snack and i just absolutely love cadbury's chocolate um i'll either put it in the freezer or put it in the cupboard because it's not hot anymore so it won't melt but i'm definitely going to be hiding that and let's face it there's not a lot in a block when you're sharing with four people i got some crumpets they're on special this week as well so my kids don't usually like crumpets but i just got them because i haven't had them in a while and they're really good as like a um, a thing for supper or breakfast. I got some of this crusty bread. Now I use this brand in my bread machine. It's so easy. I just add yeast and water. I don't have to weigh anything really. Like I don't have to weigh the bag out or anything like that. I just pour it in. Yeah, that was $2 a bag. So I stock up on a few of them and put them in the stockpile pantry because I just find having bread mix and flours and things like that just so handy when we run out of bread i love my bread machine still now with um fruit and veggies this week i got some lemons um just because i like having my lemon and water and i usually do have that in the morning before having a cup of tea or maybe sometimes i don't even have cups of tea in the morning i just have the lemon water and breakfast i've also got some capsicums this week they were on special they've come down heaps now capsicums i think they were like 88 cents each um, so I just got a red and a green. I also got some silver beet at the back there. I also ordered the Odd Bunch avocados. Usually they're really tiny, but look how big these avocados are. I got four for like $4.50 a bag. 
and I got some bananas but even though some of the fruit and vegetables have come down a bit I've noticed the bananas have snuck back up again and I find they weigh like the most especially if you get those really big bananas sometimes which I try and get the smaller ones for the kids I've also got some greens orange cake mix I'm going to put that away but I just like the look of that I have tried it before and I like the greens cake mix um, it's nice and I've also got some baking cocoa now I haven't bought this in a long time I probably buy one box a year but I always need it for like custards and icings and things I've got some of the baking chips milk chocolate for um, you know chocolate biscuits um, and things like that I've also got some cake mixes this week so I've got the vanilla cake mix and I've got two chocolate cake mixes these are these are still not a bad price they're like 90 cents a bag now but I just add extra milk or butter or something like that but they still work out fine the kids don't know that they're you know a home brand packet of cake mix or anything like that they're just really good to have in the cupboard as a backup especially for that price and I also got this microwave egg poacher now I used to have one of these years ago before we bought a tiny little microwave and it wouldn't fit in my microwave so I ended up tossing it out but these are great they were on special for like $7.75 so it was half price this week so I have been waiting for it to come down because I did get did end up getting a brand new microwave last microwave was $50 and we had it for like five years so we got a new one and these are just great they're just so easy and it really does literally take under three minutes to make these poached eggs and sometimes you just feel like it's just easier just to put things in the microwave like that so they are really worth trying I like it I've got the strike paper towels just got two packets there because it's something we always need in the house my husband uses a lot cleaning barbecues and things like that and we're just always using it for spills especially with the kids I've got some cold power this week um, this was on special I don't usually buy like expensive um, uh, laundry liquids or powders but I did get this one this week because I haven't bought this sort of thing for a long time I used to use dynamo which I really liked but that went up in price so much I got some of the wetex classic um, sponges now I, I haven't bought these in a while but they were on special this week I usually only get this sort of thing when it's on special um, these are just great for cleaning benches and tables so I do like the larger sort of sponge for that and I've got two packets of toilet paper because we're very low on toilet paper and I noticed this one has really snuck up on price as well but just got two packets there because I always like to have a spare in the big bucket that I've got in the laundry I've also just got a few well I've only got a couple of bottles of things here I've got a coconut milk um, always great for curries or coconut rice I've got the organic rice syrup now I do use this in slices um, and baking mainly because I just find it not as sweet as honey and so I always usually have that in the cupboard but I had run out for the last month so I just thought I needed that I also got some raspberry jam and some medium salsa the kids have been asking for jam and I just keep forgetting to get it for them we've got honey and Vegemite and things but I just didn't have one bottle of jam I've even got marmalade which I eat occasionally but definitely I had no jam so I needed that and the salsa is always great to have just for anything um, to, to put like the capsicum flavor in things Sultana brand was on special but geez it's a tiny box and I think we're only going to get about four or five breakfasts out of that box I've also got some of the strong cappuccino sachets they are always on special and I usually get myself the um, uh, Nescafe decaf ones but I just had to stop somewhere I find that if you don't stop somewhere you just keeps on adding up the money at the end and this is the first time in trying this, this is the Tabasco Sriracha this was five dollars a bottle um, my oldest boy's been asking for Sriracha but it is very hot but I found this one it's only like you know two bars of heat or whatever but it is still hot we have had some for lunch today before I did this grocery haul but um it's definitely a beautiful flavor and they're you know they really do use really good ingredients in Tabasco so I bought another table in to put all the cold goods on now with the milk I did end up getting 16 liters of milk again because I am um, stocking up the freezer and putting some in there occasionally I got my favorite dim sims and they didn't give me any substitute which was really good these have gone up in price even though they were on special so they're now $7.20 a bag on special they used to be $5 on special but they are delicious dim sims I really like them um, they're just they're not fatty they're just really nice and I also got some of these ruby fruit blend so these were still on special I think I paid like a little bit over three dollars for these for 500 grams um, I've been buying these occasionally lately for that price so it's really good and I just put them with like spinach 
in my smoothie and yogurt and coconut water or water. I've also got some Western Star butter because that was the same price this week as home brand butter. So I just thought I'd get a block of that for baking. And I did get some of the squeezy yogurts. I'm going to try these YoPlay ones, see what the, see what the kids think. They're about $1.40. They were the strawberry sundae ones and chocolate banana, which looks really good. And I also just got some of the Woolworths ones that I normally get my oldest boy because they're just a good size. Now I got some super fries, even though these are gone up in price so much, but you always need frozen chips in the house with kids. I just find it so easy. And I got some hash browns. Now I haven't bought these in years. I know my oldest boy never really liked them, but I thought this would be a great breakfast sometimes, you know, with some fried eggs or a poached egg um, or something like that. So I just got some of them. I've got some chicken breast crumb nuggets because my youngest boy loves these. So does my oldest boy, but I got my oldest boy the chili ones which are the um, uh, sweet chili breast tenders. He likes these ones. He reckons it's got the right amount of heat in these ones. So I just got two boxes of them because we seem to go through them pretty quickly as well. Same as the nuggets. They just don't last long in our freezer, but they're always great to have. I like having that sort of thing in the freezer. Now I did buy a leg roast um, this week, the lamb roast. Now this was pretty small for like $22, but that's sort of what you get. And it's saying it's got nine servings in it, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get nine servings out of that. But we are going to put that on the barbecue and I'll show you how we sort of cook that on the barbecue. Um, but yeah, just felt like some lamb this week. And you have to have, I think I feel like I have to have some sort of roast sometimes with the kids. And I find it a lot easier than trying to think up other meals. I've also just got a free range chicken there. And I think that was like just over $6 there. So I probably would have been better just to buy probably a few chickens and put them in the freezer really. But you know, a leg of lamb's nice to have occasionally. And I got the four liters of Peter's ice cream because it was only $8.70 this week, which is still expensive, but it's better than just buying one tub of two liters for you know, $6. So lots of snacks and holiday treats in this shop this week. But I did find that I made use of Woolworths half price specials this week. I was really happy with that. I felt like I got a lot for what I spent this week. That's for sure. Because, you know, like with the thing with the specials, like the dim sims, I bought two bags, you know, to put in the freezer for another time. And sorry, I've just noticed I've forgotten to mention the Devon and salami. I've got I actually got two packets of salami. We made pizzas for lunch before I did the grocery haul, but I've got the Devon and salami for the school week this week. We've only got five days of school left to go. But yes, yeah, so I did actually make use of the specials. Really happy with that. And with our budget this week, it was 220. We're going to try and get it to, well, we're great to get it under, but I'm going to change it to around 250 to 260 a week. We just have to be realistic in our house. We go through a fair bit of food. Um, my boys, my boys are getting bigger and taller and they're definitely eating a lot more food, but I definitely think every household is different, you know, to what foods your kids and your family like to eat and all that sort of thing. So every budget works differently in every different household. Um, but you know, I'd love to try and get it under that if I can. And some weeks I usually do, but I think we're just going to look at 250 to $260 a week, but things are just going up and up as everyone knows. I will be bringing out my catch up and weekly meal planner video within the next few days. So please keep an eye out for that. And I'll be just discussing what we're going to be having for dinner for the seven nights and um, usually all things food as well in that video. So um, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you really did enjoy it and I'll see you soon for my next videos. Thanks everyone. See you next time. Bye. <music>